Hey guys, Alan Denny here, and this is a pod review. I am in beautiful Birch Bay, Washington. I don't know if you can see the beach there. Can't really see it very well at this angle. But today I have a couple of pods sent to me from a good friend of mine on Facebook and in some of the chili groups, Bob Busby. He grows some peppers, some different types. He has uh, some crosses he's growing. This one, this first one is the seven pot ORC orange and this is the F3 Fino. And then of course, the red one, seven pot ORC red phenotype F5. Really, really nice looking peppers. And guys, what these are crossed with is seven pot orange and the Trinidad red Congo. I want to do both of these eventually, but right now I'm just going to do the red one. All right. Again, these are from Bob Busby. As far as I know, he's not selling right now. I uh, think he's going to be selling pods eventually, selling seeds, things like that. You can give him a message, you know, contact him and see what he thinks about that. So, if you guys don't know, the Trinidad Red Congo is a Red Congo habanero. It's like a Red Savina, right? It's just as hot. I've had plenty of them. I know how hot they are. And then, so, it's mixed with a 7-pot orange. So... Look at the little tail on there. These are beautiful specimens, by the way, Bob. Really very nice. It's a huge honking pepper, by the way. Beautiful. This does look a lot like a red Congo. I'll pop the top here. We'll cut into this and check out the, the walls inside. Look, oh, yeah. Wow, look at this. Check that out, guys. That is brutal. I had plenty of these red Congo habaneros before, like I said, you know, I know how warm they are, but they have that stinging sensation that the habaneros have too, right? And then they're much hotter. You know, you have the orange habaneros that go from like 100,000, 350,000, and these are like 350 to 500, 550, somewhere around there. And then you're combining that with a seven pot orange. I never had that, but being a seven pot, I know it's gotta be really hot. <laughs> seven pot being a pepper that you could use to uh, heat seven pots of chili, right? Or stew. So anyway, that's how it looks on the inside. Very beautiful, beautiful line in there. Tons of heat, you can see that. I'm gonna quit stalling and just get right into this. Let you know how it tastes and how hot it is. Oh yeah. So straight away I can tell you it does have a lot of that red Congo flavor. You can taste it. It's good. Slightly sweet, citrusy hints there. Really good. You can feel the heat building already. That's getting hot. Oh yeah. It's a bit floral.
I don't generally like the floor taste, but it's not too bad. down now it did <clears throat> got a little hiccup it is a throat burner that pod <clears throat> packing some heat in the back of my throat it's hitting hard guys <sighs> not so much oh excuse me not so much in the mouth around the tongue or the gums but more or less Kind of in the throat, huge throat, throat punch. It does have, uh, like I was saying, a little, a little bit of floral tone to it, which I'm not very fond of. But the heat of that is crazy. It's crazy hot. Oh. Ooh. All in all, it's pretty good flavor. I've had uh, scorpions that were a lot worse. Wow. Bob, that's got some throat heat for sure. That's hitting me hard. Give it a second to uh, peak <sighs> feels like my uh, my tears are even burning some good heat apparently the seven pot orange has got some really great heat uh, one sec guys The, uh, <clears throat> the Trinidad <clears throat> Red Congo has already got that stinging burning that, that it has, right? But when you combine it with a seven pot orange, <clears throat> that's pretty violent burn. I'm telling you, that is hot. <sighs> Still hiccups. That's crazy. That's a long time. But if you guys could feel could feel the heat, the heat's even burning my face. Oh, that's crazy. And the throat burn is a really, really sharp, hot burn. So, give me a second, guys. That's pretty overwhelming. I think it's just about peaked. Ugh, mouth is watering. Ugh. Eyes are watering. It's relentless heat, guys. Re really good heat. These hiccups just won't go away. Ugh. I'm at about a, a six for heat right now. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy hot. Again, this is a seven pot ORC F3. I'll do a review of this one next. The heat is starting to calm down a little, a little bit. Throat still doesn't like it though, it's crazy. 
could feel the heat down in my throat, down in my uh, chest. Uh. Right, give me a few seconds and maybe I can stop these hiccups. Uh. 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 Woo. Oh, that's crazy, guys. All right, Woo. that one lit me up, still going, looking at what, five minutes, wow, face is, face is on fire, my throat is on fire, my eyes are burning, the heat is going from my throat up into my ears. <clears throat> And I'm still, I'm still crying. Crazy. Uh, good heat, guys. Really good heat. Again, those pods are from uh, Bob Busby. If you have him as a friend on Facebook, shoot him a message see where he's at with those pods see if he's gonna start selling them if he wants to start start selling the seeds then uh, you know he might uh, I can tell you right away though plus probably you saw from my reaction those pods ugh, got some heat some killer crazy heat oh, as far as the flavor like I said it's like a red Congo red Congo habanero red Savina uh, Probably even a bit hotter because that's seven pot orange. Oh, crazy. Good flavor, hint of floral, like I don't like, but that's all right. I'm very excited, interested to try the orange one because I'm sure it'll be more citrusy. But hey, he sent me some more pods too. He sent me a mustard pod and a chocolate scorpion. I'll do reviews for those later too, guys. So again, I'm Alan Denny. This is Hungry for Heat. I'm at about a four right now. I'm doing okay. <laughs> As you can see, the hiccups have stopped. So, burning up. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you.